Hey everybody, Half Chrome. You can see we have some MJX Bugs drones here. Lots of them. They're a ton of fun. Uh, some of my favorite drones to fly. Um, and this is the one I want to talk to you about, the 5W. Now, this actually is probably my current favorite Bugs drone. This thing is awesome. We've got a tilting camera, 1080p, super stable, and GPS. So stick around. We'll tell you a little bit more about this guy. So let's take a look inside the box. On the bottom, we have the remote transmitter. If I get this thing open, you can see that it has a nice little LCD screen. Uh, we have our headless mode on the right, uh, GPS switch on the left, some uh, buttons on the top, the ones on the back do not work, so this thing is not gonna be doing any flips for us. Uh, the nice thing about this drone you see right off the bat is the camera, it is already attached, and it is just, we'll come back to that. We've got a holder for our smartphone, of course, our battery, the battery charger and some cables now it is a proprietary battery so you cannot use your old bugs 3 batteries that is kind of a bummer so uh, you're gonna have to buy 5w batteries if you want a few extras we do have some extra props and prop tools in the box as well now there are some stickers and of course some labels and some instructions for you um, you're definitely gonna want to read those it's a little more complicated than the other bugs models so let's take a look at the design of this thing. Uh, there you see the Bugs 3 Pro in the background. We'll talk about that one too. Uh, but this is a standard Bugs drone. It does seem a little bit smaller and lighter. It's got that wide stance. It uses the same brushless motors as the original Bugs 3. So it's got plenty of juice. Everything you see in this picture is coming with the drone if you buy it. But this camera really is the gem on this thing with the 1080p picture and the tilting view. Now we love our Bugs drones, uh, but this one I have to say is my current favorite. This 5W is a lot of fun to fly. Uh, the GPS makes it pretty darn stable and it's got some power. It also has some excellent flight mode. So here we're taking a look at the Bugs 3 app. This new and improved app really does help make the drone. It reminds me a lot of the DJI Go app. We've got a lot of very important information along the top. You can see the pictures, you can rotate your screen, you can hide the menus, you see how many GPS signals you have, you can see how far away from you it is, uh, the current altitude, the battery level, all of that important information, right? We also have a map now. The map is not the best. Um, sometimes uh, you'll see something there, sometimes you won't. Uh, we'll talk about why that's important when we talk about these waypoints. But it does have a point of interest mode, like an orbit. Uh, it will follow you. Uh, you can easily switch between picture and video, um, and you can also fly via waypoints, which is what we're gonna talk about now. And there are some tricks uh, or some tips that you're really gonna wanna uh, follow, or it could result in not necessarily a fly away, but a fly away. So pay attention here. You're gonna wanna know this. All right, so there are two different waypoints. We're gonna show you the tap to fly first, and then the drawing second. Now this is the tap to fly, tap a couple of points on my map. Um, and the drone will fly those those points. Now you can see that there is an actual map, just kind of a grid, and you don't see a scale. It is super important that you kind of fly the drone around from that dot, which is you, to kind of get a perspective of how far uh, that scale really is. Because if you don't, and I made the mis this mistake, as did Chris, uh, we set up some waypoints, and then we told the drone to go, and then it went, uh, and then we looked later, our scale was way off. We sent the drone to Montana. Now we live in Illinois, that's kind of far. So when we hit go, it took off like a bat out of hell uh, in, well, what it thought was the right direction. So make sure that you kind of fly it around, you get a scale, you kind of get a sense of how far it's going to fly before you hit go. You need to kind of get a perspective. Now. Uh, we've been told if you open up Google Maps, sometimes that helps, um, and sometimes it does. Now, here we're doing the draw, right? So we drew some waypoints, we flew it in a circle, and you can kind of see the perspective of the drone in the bottom, and I'm, I'm gonna actually show you what that flight looks like, uh, but it does work, right? It, it will follow that pattern that I drew. Uh, the only issue is it's not a smooth circle. It's kind of, um, you know, it flies and then it turns and then it flies and then it turns. Um, so you kind of have to keep that in mind. It does work. It's a neat feature. Again, you need to be careful 
to make sure that you understand how far away each one of these points actually is because kind of depending on your scale you don't want to send your drone to montana or wherever uh, but it is a nice little feature uh, the orbit the follow me those are a lot more simple um, but again kind of make sure you're aware of your surroundings we've done plenty of orbits um, where we didn't kind of uh, notice the giant trees you kind of have to abort uh, follow me same thing make sure it's you're not following into uh, some obstacles or things along the way that could be problematic so here is the video from that waypoint circle that we drew. You can see we do get a little bit of artifacts flying into the sun, uh, bouncing off of the props. Uh, that's fairly typical. You can see that in uh, our DJI Phantom 4. Um, you're going to have to get that camera pretty far away. Uh, the unique is, is probably the best we've seen at not getting those artifacts. But yeah, it does kind of have that abrupt stop and go each time it pivots. Now let's take a look at how stable this drone is. I set the remote on the ground, so there it is hovering up by the tree. It does move a little bit. It's not you know phantom four stable but it is pretty stable this is that same clip with the remote on the ground you can see it looking at the clubhouse there it moves a little bit um, but overall it is a pretty darn stable drone now let's take a look at the video let's get it back up in the air chris has piloted this time working the gimbal down you can see that's a kind of a pretty unique shot that you can't do with any of those other mjx drones because the camera does not move now it is on servos uh, it is not a gimbal so it is not stabilizing the camera it just moves it in the direction you want it does not have electronic image stabilization so if you're going to fly fast like this um, you're going to have to fly smooth otherwise the camera moves as you see there Overall, it is a pretty solid drone. I love MJX drones, and this is my current favorite. They're a lot of fun to fly. I would recommend a 5W. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out on halfchrome.com.